All the boss fights of Hammer hold in impossible mode. We are going to fight every single boss in the Hammerhood campaign in impossible mode in this video. We will start it with one of the easiest boss, Mirage. Even though she is the weakest boss in the Hammerhold campaign, she was not so disappointing. She did a good fight. I was expecting her to be like Illyria in the Silver Oak Outpost. But Mirage did a very good job. You can see she is quite strong and can destroy Azra within few seconds. Compared to the normal mode, she has more health, and she is more aggressive in the impossible mode. But still, she is not able to challenge us at all. In most other games, we will find the boss level a bit challenging in the hard or impossible mode. But this one was not at all challenging. The sky will turn dark, swift as a coursing river. Now, this genie is going to help her by shapeshifting all our barrack units. This is the only part of the fight, where she make us a bit uncomfortable. But still, we were under control, and we knew, as soon as the genie is dead, she will be again in trouble. That's it. That's the end of Mirage. Do you think she is a strong boss? Please let me know your view. Now let's fight Shatra, but we are not really fighting Shatra. We are just going to fight a wave of enemies. While Shatra's UFO destroy our towers and absorb our barrack units. This one is the easiest boss in the whole campaign in my opinion. But this one have strong waves of enemies. Any last words? Too slow. You can see what the UFO is doing. It's creating some disturbance for sure. But nothing to stop us from winning this level. In my opinion, a big group of the witches in this level, or the elephant in the next level, is a lot more strong than Shatra. And we really struggle to destroy the elephant in the impossible mode, as he have strong armor, and a lot of health. This group of witches, is the real challenge in this level. They are super strong, and we cannot stop them at all. They can destroy any barrack or hero within a second, because of their grouped attack. This one gave me a really bad time. I was under the impression they would take the game away from me. You can see they are getting close to the gate, and we don't have many towers around to destroy them. I was waiting for the reloading of the soul impact, or the rain of arrows. But both were not ready, but just before they enter the gate, I managed to destroy them all. Actually I was lucky, and that's the only reason why I got 3 stars in this level. And that's it. With that strong wave, this level is completed. I was hoping some last minute surprise from Shatra, but nothing happened. Don't you think Shatra is the most disappointing boss of the Hammerhold campaign?
Now let's face some serious bosses. It's time for Alric. He is strong, he is cool, and he is challenging. If we are not prepared, he can give us a tough time. He has his sand warriors for company, and he is a really good sword fighter. And I am not taking him lightly. I am using the soul impact and rain of arrows on him whenever they are available. Swift as a coursing river. Our rage is eternal. Too slow. You can see how easily he is destroying our units and progressing. I think we need someone like Sir Gerald to defeat a boss like him. Now, we have a good chance to defeat him, with a group of assassins around him. You know assassins are specialized in destroying bosses. That's it. The time for mini bosses is over. Now is the time to face the real boss, King Malik. We already know how strong he is. Let's see how much damage he can give us. He can destroy towers. He can destroy tower slots. He can do insta kill. He has high health. He can move quickly. He has everything a strong boss requires. I'm a sword in the dark. dark you can see how easily he is destroying the fully upgraded orcs and then their tower. If he was walking fast, he will be easily the toughest boss of the entire series. But still, I think he is one of the toughest boss. Bow and blade. Swift as a coursing river. Now let's see. How long the Dark Knights can hold him. Swift as a coursing river. Too slow. The dark hour has come. Ours is your last Bow and blade. The sky will turn dark. This is the best chance we have to destroy Malik with the eight harassers in front of him. And I am sure this is going to be it. That's it. King Malik has dropped his hammer. 
Please let me know who is your favorite boss. And thank you for watching.